So, first step on my ones to watch is Felipe Anderson. West Ham have a great turn of fixtures with just Man City blip in a week's time. Uh, Felipe has grabbed two goals last game week against Burnley and looks promising going forward. He's been on my ones to watch list a while, mainly because he's 6.8, so the same price as Richarlison. So he'll remain there until I see more to figure if he's worth fitting into my team because as I said that's quite a difficult price bracket obviously depending on this Richarlison injury just seems like a bit of a knock but he could be you know a definite one to watch for that price bracket for sure next up on the ones to watch is and we're heading over to the black and white and it is going to be Kennedy. Now, the Who Got the Assist boys posted some stats about him uh, a couple of days ago. Apparently, the 4.9 midfielder is joint top for shots amongst midfielders in the last four with 16, equal with Pogba apparently however they do go on to point out that he's rubbish at shooting because only two of those shots have actually been on target hence why I've put him in the ones to watch he's cheap and he's he's kind of getting a lot of shots and he's doing well but he hasn't been able to um, convert those chances yet so that's why he's a one to watch for me I mean, if you've got him just sat on your bench, then if you already have him, then fine. But obviously, just bear in mind that until he can really start kind of converting all of those lovely chances that he keeps getting, then he remains on the watch list for me. And then last up, as we just mentioned, here we go, we're off to Chelsea. Off to Chelsea. I'm talking about Maratta, and I've got I've got Madsen on screen. What's that about? Yeah, unpopular decision. Nobody's going to like it. I'm giving him a spot based on his price and form. He's of the cheaper forwards in the top six teams at just eight point seven mil. Has four goals in just two hundred and sixty three minutes, but caution is needed with Maratta. He's definitely a confidence player and the manager himself thinks he needs a bit more personality and confidence, which is maybe why he isn't giving him all of the minutes all of the time. So let's stick Maratta on the watch list and keep track of this one. He's one of those ones that could develop, I think, to be one to get in our teams. So as you skipped ahead to my void, you already know who my first person is. So we'll, we'll head back to Leicester for Madison, as we were talking about him in the chat. Uh, he's the one to avoid this week. I'm not sure I should be putting him on the avoid list personally. I'm putting him on the avoid because a lot there's a lot of unhappy FPL managers out there. His minutes are mixed. He's only played a full 90 minutes in two games this season. He's gone four weeks without any returns. Would I be selling him if I owned him? Probably not. I'd maybe wait it out a bit longer uh, with a home fixture against Burnley, if I'm honest. And if he does well there wait it out in the remaining good fixtures that he has and then see about switching him out. But however, as a non-owner, I'm intrigued to see how this one pans out because he was a definite bangwagon a couple of weeks ago and there's a lot of people saying, you know, I just can't deal with this bandwagon anymore, you know. So that's why I'm putting him on the avoids. It's more for what the Twitter Twitterverse has been saying, what my NIM fans have been saying over on Twitter is that they just can't be dealing with Madsen anymore. So he's on the avoid list for you guys. Personally, I'm not entirely sure about that one. 
The next one on the avoid list is we're heading back to Chelsea and I'm going with Jorginho. Five mil, he's playing a lot of minutes this season, but the last two weeks he he hasn't made the full 90, playing instead around the 70 minute mark. He hasn't given any returns since game week one. So just thinking it might be time to switch him out if you own him. I mean, it, he, he is still owned by 9.6% of teams. Granted, he's a bench player, 5 mil, what can you do with it? I, I get that. But, you know, maybe have a little look around and see if there's someone else you can get for your money. Because could free up a Chelsea spot if you ever feel like you you know you want another Chelsea player in your team, and then last step on our ones to avoid, and we're heading off to United for Chris Smalling, five point eight Man United defender. He's kept one clean sheet all season. He might have played 90 minutes of every match since game week three, but there are definitely better options out there in defence. So Chris Smalling, for me, is definitely a one to avoid. So I will pop back to the chat now, guys. 